think of carpets and you almost automatically think of Axminster. But because a carpet is called an Axminster carpet, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was manufactured in Axminster. The name Axminster merely refers to the weave of the carpet. Of course, they still do make carpets in Axminster. This factory that I'm in today has been here since 1937. But they were making carpets long before that. And this is a carpet here which is hand-knotted and woven by Thomas Whitty in 1755. It's in the traditional floral pattern. And it's in sort of pastel, delicate pastel shades. What a contrast it is to the carpets that they're making today. I'm in the showroom of the factory today and it really is just like a modern art exhibition. Enormous, great, abstract carpets are hung all around in the most exciting, rich, warm colours. It really just looks like something you might see at the Tate Gallery. Of course, they still make the traditional designs as well. They make two sorts of carpet here. This is what's known as a broad loom carpet. It really means that the broadloom carpet can be fitted wall to wall and the pattern can be matched up on either side and you can go on add in the carpet, add in for nitum. They come in three sizes here. It's nine foot width, a ten foot six width or a twelve foot width. This is a square and all a square really means is that it's a completely finished carpet. It's got a border. So you couldn't match your square up with another carpet. This square is entirely on its own. A traditional carpet design, very different to this oil sketch here by Mr. Graham Ayres, which has been turned into a carpet after first being broken down from the oil sketch into this pattern we see here. Mr. Ayres, you do modern designs. You also work still in the traditional way. Don't you find this confusing? Oh, not at all, no. The, um, after all, the, the cords are the same, the paint is the same, and the colours we use are the same. It's just getting the different frame of mind. Well, what about your abstract designs? Where do you get the ideas from? Well, various, th various things. An odd um, glimmer in, a, in water, or a, uh, as in this case here, a triangular sign from a road, a road sign is the basic tri um, triangle here. I see, yes. 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 And then you break it down, break into, it down that. into that, yep. yes. And then the repeat is made on the bottom here and it matches on here and also it will match on there and there. Does almost anything outside give you an idea? Oh, every bit, yes. Oh, Are there any other illustrations? Oh, yes, see? yes. There's, uh, in this case here, there's a Japanese scene in colour. Oh, yes, yes. And inspired a block design which is very popular at the present moment with um, the modern colours. You broke that down into that? Into that, that yes. And, and the finished <coughs> article is then that. And that is absolutely magnificent. And this great orange and red shape. That's here. right, yes. The square look with the square furniture. So there, there's yes, nothing yes. at all, really, that's visual you can't interpret. No, exactly, exactly. And your original oil sketch is turned into a exactly, carpet. And exactly, the whole process yes, gets yes. off into action. That's right. <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh. 